We show and talk a lot about gaming, observe real-life buses and trains, but there's also another hobby I also like, and that is also model railways. I announce to you guys a new project called Project Wickham Railway. I've always been interested in model railways, even as a kid. The scenery, the buildings, the locomotives themselves are just a beauty to see. It's like a miniature real depiction of the everyday life of railways. Now don't get me wrong, I'm also a gamer, but I've also felt like I've neglected my second hobby of model railways. And during our recent weeks of the announcement of Hatton's Model Centre, Centre's closure after 78 years, and a cancellation of the annual Worley Model Railway Exhibition in Birmingham, I felt very guilty. And it really hurts me to see that people aren't as interested as model railways as they used to be. The cost of living crisis makes things even worse, I'm afraid to say. But this is why I'm starting this project officially now. Now onto the start of Vlog 1. So, as you may well see, I've already set up the track. So this is going to be quite a short vlog. I've already set up the track. The platforms, well, I don't know exactly where they are, but there's my rough guide on where they might be. But subject is to change anyways. The board and track are quite dirty as they have not been used in a while. And plus, well, you may notice this is just a plain billboard. I am actually planning one day to make this all green by using a model, uh, what are they called? Like fake glass, like modelling glass. So I'm planning to have this layout like it's set in the country suburbs of somewhere in the middle of quiet England. Not like um, a huge city like London, but somewhere in the middle of England. A nice quiet area in the middle somewhere, which I'll show you in a minute. So somewhere about here, there'll be like the town centre. And then from there it will lead to, I don't know, somewhere residential with a lot of nature. Um, and this, well, there's going to be a station there. I've got quite a few model buildings anyway, but I need to sketch it all out to see where exactly they would go. And then the other side, I don't know yet, because this is just the very start of the project. But I'll show you guys what I've got in the box. Although it's a bit of a dig, so you might only see a few, I suppose. Oh, here's another glimpse of my Class 67, whose name is Western Star. So here is some buildings. Oh, there's one I haven't built up yet, but there's one from Metcalf. It's a coaching inn. By the looks of it, it's called the Crown or Red Lion. Some unmade um, signal boxes or just signals from plastic ratio models. I believe they're the same scale, yeah. I believe they suit double O, yeah, double O or HO gauge. Uh, there's, oh, <laughs> strange enough, the crown, but it's a public house. And then down there is, I believe that's the station. And I'm bearing on this box, good god, I don't want to ruin this, is some of the town buildings. But we can rummage through that another day. That's for another vlog, I suppose, because it would take me a very long time to go through all this. So another vlog might take some time, I'm afraid. But stay tuned for some. And that about wraps the introduction of vlog one. Uh, nothing much can be said other than I'll continue keeping you updated on what the layout looks like in vlog 2 and vlog 3 and so forth so forth. Um, this project might take a very long time, it takes a lot of time and patience, so the next vlog might take a very long time I suppose. So yeah, 
It takes a lot of craft and skill, so expect the next video sometime. But other than that, it's just a plain, boring chalkboard. But I've got a nice collection of model trains from Hornby and Barco. Maybe I might even do a steam diesel electric locomotive collection in one of my videos one day. I mean, I am getting close to 1k subscribers, but who knows what happens in the future. But anyways, please comment, like and subscribe for more videos.